The stats are alarming. Nine deaths and 3,600 people injured in construction work zones throughout the state of Maryland. Public officials are now emphasizing the importance of driving safely around construction zones. Lorna Virgili joins us from one of the intersections that will be under construction for some time. Lorna? Sonia, state and local officials gather here at the intersection of Georgia Avenue and Randolph Road to remind drivers to slow down and pay attention while driving around construction zones. The $73.8 million interchange project on this particular intersection was a chosen site by authorities to send a plea to drivers. Look out for workers in active construction zones. Again, the message to our residents Let's drive safely, let's slow down, let's ensure that these work sites are operating, but also ensure that we protect the workers who are here, the passengers in your vehicles, our pedestrians. It is too serious. Nine lives, nine people who've died is far too many, and we should reduce that and eliminate that. Work zone related crashes are on the rise, and with hundreds of projects underway this spring, authorities want to ascertain that drivers simply slow down. Lori Moser lost her husband while he was working on a construction site and an errant driver struck and killed him. My family knows that one glance away, that being in a rush and traveling over the speed limit can have devastating consequences that cannot be undone. We've openly shared how the profound loss of such a deeply loved husband and father continues to impact our lives. The message is clear. If you see the orange barrels, signs, or cones, that means protection for drivers, passengers, and workers. As a reminder, driving even one mile over the posted speed limit in construction zones is a $290 fine and one point on the driver's license. Troopers will be conducting additional patrols with the goal of identifying drivers who are involved in activities that are prohibited by law or significantly divert their attention from safe driving. Hundreds of state employees and contractors will be in work zones. Officials are asking drivers to modify driving to help prevent crashes. In Wheaton, for County Report This Week, I'm Lorna Virgili.